time for under 30s. We discuss Cleveland Cliffs. CLF is the stock ticker. And Jenny, we're going to like Appalachia Steel City for this kind of stuff in, uh, in, in Cleveland here, obviously where the company is headquartered. And we're kind of going uh, a little bit more blue collar with this conversation, but this uh, particular stock is one that I have seen pop up for years and years. Same as uh, US Steel. They get their kind of moments in the sun, and today uh, appears to be one of those days. It does appear to be one of those days because a 3% move to the upside in Cleveland Cliffs is no small move, of course, in a name that doesn't tend to move with this degree of volatility. So here to tell us more on what we can expect from Cleveland Cliffs, given the, the analyst upgrade and the fact that commodity prices are being factored in. I'd like to welcome in George Tillis, senior markets correspondent here for the network. So George, walk us through what you're seeing today as far as upside in this name goes. Well, I think we're seeing a bit of the upside. If you look across the board, a lot of the uh, the raw materials uh, companies like CF Industries, which is a fertilizer producer, there's some movement in the industry space. I think that's carrying through to other uh, materials-based uh, industry suppliers like Cleveland Cliffs, which uh, right now, very interesting situation. If you go back and look at the chart over the last uh, three uh, years on a weekly basis, you'll notice that there was a huge run up uh, back in uh, in early 2022 because if you go back to 2021 through 2022, there was obviously a huge increase in average selling prices while at the same time volumes were actually picking up as well. Now, if you look at uh, Cleveland Cliffs, uh, which by the way, is, since uh, 2020 has actually made a couple of large acquisitions with uh, AK Steel, uh, which is uh, one of the uh, larger domestic uh, flat rolled steel producers and Arcelor Mittal, which is basically a UK uh, based steel producer. Uh, the company has actually moved from a raw material supplier to actually a finished steel producer. And so its business has changed quite a bit in the past few years, not to mention uh, the other thing I think is actually quite big is the, uh, the acquisition pronouncement of, of U.S. Steel. This was back in August for about $32.60 a share. So Cleveland Cliffs has is, uh, is really moved and is transitioning its business from raw materials steel producer to uh, to finished steel, now inclusive of if the acquis acquisition does go through into uh, steel that is utilized for a lot of the uh, construction and, of course, uh, infrastructure in our country as well. Now, uh, if you look at the stock price, it's it's reasonably it's been moving higher this last year, about 11 or so percent. Citigroup actually came out and raised their price target to $22, and they actually see the uh, flat rolled steel price is stabilizing and in fact increasing to about $800 per ton going forward in the next uh, couple of quarters, based upon inventory drawdowns and also restocking from a seasonal standpoint. I think. Uh, their call is, yeah, average selling prices are increasing. If you look at 2022 to 21, volumes were down, but prices still are firm. And I think that's, uh, again, beneficial to the business, but the stock really hasn't reacted too much uh, to the news. And I think it has to do with the fact that we have a core business for Cleveland Cliffs, but at the same time, we have to deal with the acquisition of U.S. Steel, which in a nutshell is about $7.8 billion, and it's estimated about 3.9 billion of that is cash. And uh, if you look at the balance sheet of Cleveland Cliffs, they don't have the cash. They have about 34 million in cash. So I suggest there's some uh, balance sheet pressures uh, contingent upon the acquisition, which I surmise they can do. They're just gonna have to raise the capital to do it. And I think that's another thing you gotta keep in, in mind as an investor in this company right now. Uh, George, when looking at this type of a name, how focused does one have to be on macro picture, on sort of commodity cycles? Yeah. This seems like something that's going to be extremely sensitive to sort of where we are uh, cyclicality, like uh, in terms of cyclicality yeah. uh, of the economic cycle. So I was just going to bring up cyclicality. It's extremely important in this business for this company. Uh, I think at the end of the day,